So have you ever asked yourself the really, really important question, how do you eat an elephant? How do you eat an elephant? Have you ever heard that expression before, not that question, how do you eat an elephant, ever? Sometimes people ask that question, it's kind of a, it's a, a way to kind of suggest an answer. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time, that's how you eat an elephant, okay? How do you climb a mountain? One step at a time. If you have any of these things in, in, in one go, we'd say it's just, it's just impossible. You've got any hill, any slope that you may have been on recently, and you look up and you can barely see the top of it because it's snow-capped and it's uh, immersed in this immense, dense fog, cloud thing. It's uh, reaching out into space. I think it's absolutely impossible. Can't do it. Uh, but one step at a time, you get there. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time, preferably cooked, I guess. I don't know, I've never, but point being, in order to achieve good things, great things, seemingly impossible things, we do so by small steps, by small steps. And this is the same in so many ordinary things, so many terrestrial things, so many things of, of, of our life and our earth as well. In order to do, in order to get fit, you have to, like, it's all regularity and consistency beats intensity anytime. If you want to get good at anything, 10 minutes playing guitar every day is much better than an hour a month. You know, if, if you've ever gotten lessons for any instrument and you only go along uh, to the lesson but never practice beforehand, you'll never really, you'll never really get good like. Whereas 10 minutes a day every day, learning and learning new things and trying new things, that's how you get, that's how you get good. Same with French or anything, you know, one intense hour a month won't change anything. Whereas 10 minutes, 20 minutes every day, uh, you'll learn very quickly. So it's the same in the spiritual life. Uh, when we look at how to become saints, which ultimately is our call, how do we become saints? Well, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? How do you become a saint? Well, it's, it's one decision at a time. It's one seemingly ordinary or innocuous situation at a time. And if I'm choosing the Lord in the ordinary things, the small things, the seemingly unimportant things, but I'm choosing him step after step, day after day. I'm going to find myself veering more and more and more towards him and veering less and less towards the world. I'm going to start finding myself ever more in, in, in the Lord's presence because I keep choosing him. So if I keep choosing him, I keep finding him. That's what the essence of sanctity is going to be, conforming my life to the will of God. So when we think of uh, Moses today now, we're going to be hear hearing readings from the book of Exodus now for the next two weeks and more. Uh, so Moses leads the people, he will be leading, we're going to hear in, in a couple of days' time, uh, he's going to lead the people, uh, his own people, the Hebrews, the Jews, out of slavery in Egypt. Now, as we'll be seeing, he has to do some fairly nonsensical things in the eyes of the world. He has to take some, some daily steps, and then there are some uh, substantial steps, big steps to be taken. Like, imagine you're the slaves of the most powerful nation in the known world, whose leaders consider themselves gods, right? Pharaohs consider themselves divine. Okay, so now you, Moses, have to go to Pharaoh, who thinks he's God, and say, all your free labor out there, all of us like who are building your, your monuments and roads and whatever else is being built out there, yeah, we need you to just let us go. And apparently, um, Moses said also, oh, I, he stuttered. So he says, I can't, I can't, 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 can't go to Pharaoh. Uh, so then the Lord said, okay, well, I'll appoint Aaron. <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> So Aaron was the spokesperson. That's why it's spelled with two A's. Um, so, you know, so you send this man who stutters to the most powerful man known in the known world to let his free labor go. <laughs> like the faith that must take, you know, but there's these, these daily steps with the Lord, just to do this next thing. And then when, we, when you let us go, where, where are we going to go? I will reveal it to you. We're being chased by an enormous force on chariots and spears and the whole lot, and we find ourselves with a sea in front of us. And now all of the people looking at you going, 
What was that about? You freed us from Egypt and now we're going to get slaughtered before we even get across the Red Sea. And Moses didn't have the full plan. Right? Just one step at a time. Do what the Lord asks of you now. The Lord says, stretch out your, your staff over the sea. Yeah, Lord, I'm not sure if you realize, we need a bridge and quick or a boat or an earthquake that splits us between, you know, that splits the ground between us and we need to move now. This isn't really time for, for waving staffs or <laughs> we've got to go. Do what the Lord says. So he stretches out his staff and this miraculous, monumental uh, miracle happens in the Red Sea parts and so on and so forth. They're able to cross as, as you, know, you know the story. But this is, how, this is how sanctity works. For most of us, it's not quite as dramatic. For most of us, it's much, much simpler. It's much smaller. Uh, obviously, Moses had a, yeah, a whole vocation, uh, a much, if you will, a much, more, much bigger vocation than, than even he was aware of. Uh, but for, for most of us, it's just the daily yeses, the small daily yeses. That's how we, that's how we become saints. So will you help? Yes. Will you get up a little earlier and pray? Okay. Uh, will you renounce technology or TV or cert certain programs that you know aren't good? Well, okay, I'll do my best. Will you keep in touch with good friends of prayer and maybe... Are there people in your life who lead you away from God? If so, are you going to renounce those friendships? Well, okay. Now, little by little, you're making decisions and doing things that will draw you to God. And that's how we become saints. Daily decisions, the small daily decisions. Now, the good news and the bad news, the good news of that is it means you and I can become saints. Because... I'm sure you're all wonderful, but I'm not sure if any of us are spectacularly gifted. I think we're just kind of normal. So if, if we can become saints just by doing ordinary things with great love, just by doing the will of God in, in my everyday life, then it means I can actually become a saint. Which I think is good news. I, think it's, I, think it's, I find that very good news anyway. The bad news is, or the more difficult news, is that uh, everything you do matters. Everything you do counts, which is good news and bad news. It's good news in that it means everything I do actually matters, but it means everything I do actually matters. <laughs> you know? It means everything I do can actually help me become a saint, but it means everything I do is now, it means I, I, I can't mess up. You know, I mean, everything I do is now a sort of weighed down with, with greater responsibility. Yes, yes, it is. Yes, it is. The Lord, when he speaks of, of the cities, the, the towns that he worked in, um, today with great sadness, uh, he compares them to pagan towns. And said, if these pagan towns had seen the miracles that you've seen, they would have converted. Tyre and Sidon, they, they were up, up in the north, they're in modern day Lebanon, uh, but they weren't Jewish towns. But he said, if they had seen the miracles that you've seen, they would have converted long ago. But you haven't. You, Khorasan, and you, Bethsaida, you haven't converted. The pagan towns would have. So, yes, the, the daily decisions we make are important. They are. Which is great. But it's also a responsibility. So we ask the Lord today to guide each of our steps, to guide each of these small incremental movements towards heaven towards your will, towards our ultimate happiness. And might we recognize the value and the importance of every single decision. How do we eat an elephant? How do you scale a mountain? How do you get to heaven? One step at a time. Amen.